Kinjal Desai came from India and got a degree from Humber College in marketing. She only had two months left on her postgraduate work permit and went online looking for help getting her permanent residency. They had good reviews. Um, it was a highly rated uh, consultancy firm. The advice? Submit false documents to receive an extension to her permit at a cost of $6,000. It felt really sketchy, like how he said it so, so like, so seamlessly, like, yeah, you can apply for a big extension, like a dummy extension. Everybody's doing that these days. Luckily, a friend suggested she get a second opinion from an immigration lawyer. So fortunately, I was saved in the right time, but I see a lot of people doing this. We're taking action to strengthen and protect our immigration program and crack down on bad actors, on scumbags. The government of Ontario says it's adding new legislation connected to the Provincial Immigrant Nominee Program, which covers around 7% of all immigrant workers. It grants permanent residence for international students and other workers in in-demand professions, including healthcare and the skilled trades. The government is proposing fines for consultants caught breaking the rules and banning them from the nominee program up to a lifetime ban if they withhold passports or engage in human trafficking, plus posting their names on a website. But we know there are bad actors who exploit vulnerable newcomers, scamming them out of their life savings, lying to them with a fake job acceptance letter, coercing them into forging documents, jeopardizing their immigration status. The provincial ministers repeatedly criticized the federal government for not doing more. We are stepping in to fix what the federal government has overlooked. And they urged the Trudeau government to act to improve protections for other immigrants. Kinjal Desai did not apply through the provincial program, so the changes wouldn't help her. But she did recently get her permanent residency with the help of that immigration lawyer. I was very happy and fortunate to take my friend's advice and find this the, the good person, the right person. The new legislation is set to be tabled next week. Lorenda Radakop, CBC News, Toronto.